Um, welcome! Hi, I'm Distelf Lesbian, and this is my start for YouTube. This is... Everybody has to start somewhere, and this is where I'm starting. So, this is my first video. Welcome. As I said, we're going to be playing The Wolf Among Us, because I've always wanted to do Let's Plays... And this game just was really interesting to me, and just really... Like, it makes me want to read the Fable comics. So, we're gonna give it a shot, we're gonna give it a go. Let's... see what we... let's see what we got! Let's play through this intro here. Sorry if there's any lag or stuttering, I'm new at this, and I'm... I'm Trying my best for all of y'all. Doing what I can just to make sure everything's good. Everything's good for everybody. Ooh, that's, yeah. No, we're gonna have to go here. Oh, yeah, that's a lot smoother. I'm liking that. We're good. Alright. Um, I'm doing this kind of on a shoestring budget. A real shoestring budget. So we're gonna. We're gonna play, and if it lags or stutters or anything, or if it doesn't look right, you can very well tell me. We're gonna restart the episode, because as I said before, I've tried to record this before, but, you know. We're gonna restart the episode. Rewind, yes. Uh, I'm gonna rewind from here. Over right. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play, and yet it's still a murder mystery. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret from the mundane world. Secret community. Sheriff Big B. Wolf protects them from themselves. So with the big bad wolf. Five today again if you missed it. A uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. And that humidity looks low. But remember, is it just me or does that guy sound like Sea Nanners? So like, does he sound like either Jeff from Rooster Teeth or Sea Nanners? Say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Toads, Bronx Street, Barrett Street, whatever. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glad. I try to cut you a the break. Moment. The game still gets Post pissed at me. I'm looking at a three I'm foot at toad. A three foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. Silence is a valid option. That. Yeah, I know. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? You know what? 
I don't make the rules. Also, those the witch rules. extortionists. Sorry. Go I figure, the economy gets pass, to everybody. <laughs> witch extortionists. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do so, something, Big B. So Toad's a slumlord. The place. I'm going upstairs. Fuck you, Toad. Go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Ah, shut up, you slumlord. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside! Should arrest him for being an ass and annoying me. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, so what, he's like the woodsman and a huntsman? He's wasted to look around. Oh, that phone's gonna annoy me. Let's let's grab that phone and put it back. I know she's getting beaten on or whatever, but you know, it sounds like an emergency. But I'll go make some noise in a minute. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Knock, knock, bitch. God damn you! No way. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey! hey. <laughs> You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Oh, I like her. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> <you. laughs> Hey, Steve Blom, Big B Wolf. I think it's what Steve What are you Blom. gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. I'm gonna be reasonable drunk, with you. you alright? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit. I don't care if he's gonna memory. remember that. That's not how it went last time. Last this time was more than 300 time. years ago, you little bitch. <laughs> you <gotta> calm down. <laughs> have a lie down. Had enough? <laughs> Oh, ribs, ribs. At least it's a fucking challenge. <coughs> oh. <coughs> quick time events, quick time events. I think they're going easy on me. Lay down, again, bitch. Do what I said. Take that, and that, and have some more of that. This guy is holding a grudge over, what, 300 years ago or something? Like the last time he beat up Bigby? I suppose he's the woodsman, so, you know. Have a drink. But still... Go fuck yourself. Still, that was so long ago. Guy has a fucking complex. He's his ass beat. Back off, asshole. No. Sorry, I had to turn my microphone down. Or I had to turn my headphones. That's the word I'm looking for. No, all of the nope. All of the nope. Nope, 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 nope. Q, Q, Q. Keyboard's not sensitive enough for this. Q. Oh. Gob shite, smack you in the face. <laughs> Boom! You have your right scalp at Logo Will. Right around the ears. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. Oh, fuck him. Be nice or I'll throw. make you wait outside. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard! And still you talk. I know, Fuck you'd think that would you. discourage him. But nope. Shit. Uh, what happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, 
You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just right. the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Right, hunker right? girl. I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Uh, it hurts. Seriously. Seriously. I need to know if you're okay. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. Thought about cover it, hun? Yeah. I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this. And you probably monster. fucked her afterward, I too. Cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? Be aggressive. I said be nice. Or you wait outside. I am a man of my word. Outside you go. Out we both go. Oof. I suppose not Wolverine here can take a beating though. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means, take your time. Dude, sorry. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. Well, it could have been avoided if I didn't. I called you. You know, you throw him out the window. I can't be made. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Then stop calling me for help. Oh. At least you're not fucking dead. I have a feeling this guy doesn't pay his rent anyway. Yeah. You, 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 you. But why am I losing suddenly? Ow, bite me, literally. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. You fucking lumbrel. You ignorant fuck. Go on out, wall. Oh. <laughs> nice save, sweetheart. Getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. <laughs> He's got like 35 cents. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be. Free. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> I'm gonna let her have your fun. Day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. <laughs> Come here, let me tug that axe out of your head. Now take it with you. Take it with you. Take it with you. If I get attacked by that axe again, it's all your fucking fault, Big B. Shit. Just come on. Let me light your cigarette like a classy gentleman. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? 
It's beautiful, babe. Beautiful. Thank you. She'll remember that. I have a feeling Mini Celine here is going to get in some I trouble. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Totally. <laughs> oh, license plate. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Pragmatic. I Maybe like I her. should be arresting you. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. <sighs> so, now's your chance. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, don't make that joke. Not gonna make that object? joke. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. You know, I don't know if it's okay to give her the money or not, because just I'll be fine. Giving her not like not giving her enough money. Let's see, I've got. Uh, maybe like that makes her pimp mad and makes her think that she's holding back on him. So maybe it's better if she showed up empty-handed. So it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Oh, we could go raid his room Just for money stash. Take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where you I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. So yeah, I clean up okay, bad. and you look worse than I do right now. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. People around here sure know how to hold grudges. I'll see you around. Like, Wolf. I know he might have done some horrible things, but he's trying to reform, and people around here sure know how to give a guy shit. But, yeah, this makes me want to read the Fable comics. Like, I'd say do, because I'm a comic fan, and if you're a comic fan, and you haven't read it... It's really interesting for the looks of this. Everybody in noir films, or noir anything, has a chain smoking habit. So that was the intro to The Wolf Among Us. And I want to thank you all for sticking around with me on this journey. Um, nice little intro video. Um, I'm gonna keep doing episodes. Yeah. I'm gonna finish the whole thing, the whole episode one, so I hope you watch, give it a like, give it a favorite if you really like it, um, share with your friends, whatever, uh, leave a comment, I love constructive criticism, I love feedback, um, yeah, uh, that's, that's all I've got to say, thank you guys, I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully everything works hunky dory. All right. Well, I'm gonna save when it yeah save when it lets me. Episode one, faith and Begora, if that's the saying. I think it is. Yeah, faith and Begora. I don't know what Begora is, but I should look that up. And I'm actually mostly Irish. All right. So we're gonna start right from here next time. I will see all of you good people. Remember, uh, no, not remember, but I'm the stealth lesbian, and you'll.